hello friends welcome to my channel today i'm going to teach how to make these good corners and giving a nice finishing to a doormat so all what you need you need to be having your for me i call this a rubber mat i don't know how you call it that side and i also have this 3.5 millimeter hook i also have a pair of scissors i also have this robin chunky it's robin chunky so let's get started so if you want to make good straight edges we are going to start from the from the middle not from the not from the corner so i'm going to start from here i'm going to insert my hook then i get the thread So I want to also hide this thread as I'm stitching, as I'm crocheting. I'm going to put it, I think you can see here is the hook, here is the one that I'm using to, to make my work. So I'm going to put this thread here in the middle. So I'm going to chain one, so then I start, I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch, in each hole, yeah? so you call this. A single crochet some people call it manga overlocking interlocking but it's called a, sing, a, a single what a single crochet so then you make a single crochet in each stitch so i'm going to cut out this let me hope you're understanding a single crochet as we are approaching the corner, again a single crochet, single crochet. So I'm, I'm left with two, two small holes. So the first will be first hole. So now in this hole in the corner, we are going to make three single crochets. We are going to insert in the hole three times. So let's count. This is one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. That was the first one. We are going to the second one. One, two, and three. It's a little bit disturbing, but there should be three single crochets. And then we are going to continue with one single crochet in each hole. So one single crochet up to the corner, one single crochet, I think you can see my work, so the corners are, the corners are really fine, so we're going to continue one single crochet, one single crochet, till this corner, I'm approaching my other corner as you can see, so now in this corner, I'm going to put three single crochets as I told you that in every corner I should put three single crochets that was the second one and now this is the third one so we are going to continue one single crochet then here three then I mean one then here three I'm going to get you when you're almost here So I'm left with only two holes. So here one single crochet and again the last single crochet. So now when you're done, we are going to get the two loops here up. Yeah? These two loops that you see, these two loops. Then you pass the hook through. Then you pull the yarn through the two loops and also through the loop on the hook. We call this a slip stitch. Right people call it Okunyeza, but it's called a slip stitch. Then after you chain one and cut the yarn. Then you pull. So with this yarn, I'm not going to burn. I'm not going to get a much a much and I burn no. I'm going to put this yarn. Yeah? I'm going to move it through like on top of these of the stitches yeah? 
I want it to be invisible. You can either bring this side or this side, any side of your choice. So I want to make it invisible. As you can see, I'm making it invisible. So here it can be very difficult for someone to know where you started from. As you can see, I'm making it invisible. So I left a longer yarn, so I'm going to cut this one. So now I'm done. As you can see my corners, but they have come out very nicely. My corners, these are my corners. So now, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.